Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at the Digital Product 669 Ultimate Graphics Pack plugin for Final Cut Pro. Now, as you can see here, we have a whole ton of different animated generators that we can throw onto our Final Cut Pro timeline um, for a number of different projects. So we have everything from graphics that include animated phones through to animations of headphones, watches, some different audio spectrums that you can see here, some nice graphic backgrounds that we can put underneath graphic text or graphics that we're putting onto our video. And we have some nice badges here. And then if we kind of keep scrolling down, you'll see we have things like bubble chat as well. If you're wanting to do cell phone chats, we have some very cool call outs um, that we can do as well. And then probably one of my favorites is these animated emoticons here that we can add to our video. So you can see we've got some nice animations here for these kind of classic emojis that we can pop onto our videos. They've got transparency all built in. And we're gonna have a look at some of the control you've got over these different videos. We've got some nice hand gestures as well. Now, all of these colors in these icons are customizable. So you can get them to match your branding, the colors that you need for your particular videos. And scrolling down a little more, you can see we've got some really detailed infographics. So if you're looking for a graphics pack to get started with that you can use in a number of different projects, then this is a great option. It's gonna have a whole ton of different animated graphics. So we'll scroll back up to the, the top here and we're just going to jump right in with some of these 3d devices which are super cool so we're going to grab the 3d device 2 we'll drop it down to the timeline so now in this generator you can see as we look up to the inspector so i've come to my published parameters options for my title inspector um, i've got options for all the colors in here so you can see we can modify the colors to exactly what we want to fit our branding and to kind of fit the style of our video Obviously, we can modify things like the text, but also um, I'm just going to bring up my library here. We can modify with this selected um, the graphic that's actually in these cell phones on the right hand side. So if I click here to choose a source, I'm going to grab this image. You can see I can get that to fill the cell phone there. And then we can also fill these other cell phones as well so you can see you get that nice realistic looking graphic within your cell phone there so we've got a nice instagram screenshot there that we can use we can also pop video in there as well so if we come to my video here of chesterman beach in tofino and we can grab a quick video so we'll just select the source we'll select our video here and you can see now we've got that video dropped right into the the cell phone there and we can uh, change the size of it actually we have put that into two because we forgot to apply the previous one so basically when you've added your graphic we'll just change this one we'll come back to the image you need to apply that change so we've got our graphic in there now and then we just click apply clip down here to actually add that graphic into the cell phone so you've got some pre-made graphics in there but you can see we can also pop some videos in there the video of the waves is a little bit shaky let's just change that one so that's a quick overview of the animation we'll just apply this and then play this through So you can see really easy to change the graphics there. Obviously we can come in and scroll down. We've got the individual bits of type that we can modify. And we've got the smaller type here as well, which we can also modify. So let's dive in now that we've had a kind of quick look at this animation. You can see we've got the intro animation, then a nice hold for our graphic as well. And all of these 3D devices have that same level of control. So if we're coming to something like the headphones, you can see here we've got different options for the color. So we've got the option for the headphone color. So real nice, again, level of detail that means we can match our branding and kind of what we want from our plugin. So you can see also here we've got options for dropping in the logo. So if we grab a logo here, we'll come up to our options here. We've got a Final Cut Pro logo. We can drop that in there. And then you can see just below this image, we've got options for the scale of it. We can pan it so we can get it in exactly the right spot. So just that nice level of detail that we've got when we're actually adding in different elements to these graphics. And nice thought to where we might want to put our web address, buttons that we might need as we're setting things up in our video edits. So let's jump back into some of these other settings here. So if we scroll down a little bit, 
we are going to scroll past the text chat and we're going to have a look at some of these emojis. Let's grab this emoticon 3. You can see we can drop this right onto our timeline and we have a nice level of control over where we want to position it so we can modify the position of our emoticon and we can also modify the color of it as well so we can uh, change our our color here too if we want to if we want to kind of match uh, some different colors for that emoticon and different colors for the mouth and eyebrows as well so just that detail which helps you kind of get things to match the color that you want and you can see then also with uh, the hand pointers here we have some different options let's just disable that clip behind and with this hand we also have some options for the skin tone as well which allows us to kind of modify the skin tone that we're using super useful to be able to have that control and then we've also got a shadow in there as well so we can modify um, for a hand when it's coming over an image the shadow opacity so we can have more shadow or less shadow depending on what we're looking for and then we can also have a background on this as well which has this uh, color so if we're wanting to have this hand as our main timeline layer then we can actually place it in the middle here we can position it so we can modify the x position and the y position so where our hand actually comes to and then we can also modify the the scale as well so we can get the control of that just right as well so you can see we've got some other ones here so let's just have a look at this one which is holding a phone so we've got a nice animation on and again this nice little 3d animation we can go in here to our drop zone let's come back to our library here first and you can see in the drop zone we can grab an image here drop it in there and then also pan that position as well so we'll apply that and you can see just that detailed level of control over being able to combine those graphics together is super useful we also have some options in this animation and you'll find different options in each of the animations for the animation in animation out and then whether it's moving up or moving down so if we turn off the animation out then basically and we'll turn off the moving down then basically this is going to animate in and it's going to hold so now we can have that on screen for longer with that hold and we'll go and explore some more plugins here now as well so we'll scroll down you can see we've got those animated hands um, i particularly like some of these business icons which are going to be super useful for some people in their edits so we've got this nice shopping cart okay and again the transparency is built in and we can position our playhead over the top of this you can see we've got that control over the color of our cart so if we have specific brands for a store that we're doing some video work for then we can match our shopping cart color to that particular brand as we want to so we'll just modify these a little bit and you can see again the transparency is built into this so if we come here we'll grab a quick video and we'll drop this shopping cart over the top here so you can see all that transparency nicely built in to overlay over the top of a video in the background so let's jump back in here again you can see these icons will all have similar kind of options for them and we get these nice drop zones where it's relevant so we have a television animation here and within that tv we can access the drop zone so we'll come to our videos again select our clip and then from the drop zone we can drop in here a small video we can change the scale of that within the tv and then also pan it within that space to get it just in the right spot so once we apply that we'll get the little animation on in the beginning and then the video showing in there so super nice super nice control over all of these let's scroll down a little more oh, we've got some uh, medical icons so super useful again to be able to drop these onto your timeline um, and then also to be able to kind of modify the color of those things so if you're 
doing some work which requires these medical icons, then you can modify uh, the color of those and get them just in the right spot. Let's scroll down a little bit more. You can see we've got some location pointers, uh, magnifying glass, and then some technology icons, as we mentioned before. Um, so things like a screen recorder, which will be useful over the top of something like a video. It's going to pop up, tell us that we're recording, and we can add these animations in there as well. I do like the vehicle icons that we have here. And again, you know, when we drop these onto our timeline, either on the main storyline or onto a layer, we get that animation but we also get the control over the color. So we can modify the color as we see fit to kind of fit the design of our particular branded product. So we've gone from a kind of purple bike, this nice pink bike with yellow wheels and an orange saddle. Super nice. And then obviously you can animate these as well. So if we have our animation in here, we have our bike coming on. We can come into our regular transform tool add a keyframe and then we'll get this to by this point I reckon a quick bike it would have animated off so there we go we're going to do a little wheelie and then away we go so we can mix the animation from these particular icons that we're adding um, in with our kind of custom animations in Final Cut Pro 10. Now this is one of my favorite things to, to kind of look at, so the infographics. And these are some nice simple examples of graphics that will definitely be useful in your different projects. So you can see we've got a progress bar here. We've got some progress infographics. Let's grab this one. And in here you can see we get a nice animation on. And we have control over all these different elements as well. So I'm going to turn off my motion properties here. So we've got the different colors of the bars, which we can control. Okay, so you can see we can modify those. So we'll just pick out a couple here, which we're gonna change. And then if we scroll down, you can see we've got different bar lengths. So at the moment we've got bar one set to 90%, we can drop that down. So you can see it's gonna flow really nicely with all the other infographics that we have behind there. So super nice level of control here for getting those animations just right. And you can see the, the highest amount that we have here is 10,000. So if we make that 5,000, then all these numbers are gonna change. So we can modify what we want to be our 100% here, and then we can actually have these numbers match up nicely you can see we've got text one there, text two, and we can modify the different lines of text that we have in here. So text one is our main title. Text two is our subtitle, and as we scroll down, you can see we've got title one, which is actually not a piece of text that will change, it's just highlighting that the text below is the first title. So here we can type and then as we scroll down, we've got title 2, which really doesn't appear on screen. It's highlighting that the next one below is this next title. And so on and so forth. So again, super useful, super nice, flexible animation with lots of control in there that you'll need. Then we have some other infographics in here as well, classic bar chart. We have this little animation, these info cards. So we can drop this on here. And again, you can see when we get in here, we have Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, but these are all graphics that we can change. So if we scroll down here, we'll come back to our images here. And basically you can see if we select this first source, we'll come to this truck. You can see we can place our own infographic in there. So this could be useful for anything. So anything where you need these kind of info cards, we can drop our own customize graphics into these so that we can then kind of modify these cards. So you might see social media here, but actually we can change this to anything. Let's grab this. And again, that nice level of control, being able to reframe the image. And we'll grab this little desk as the last one. And there you go, perfect. So again, being able to add in those different images 
modify these elements, modify the text, it's going to be super useful in different video edits that you're, you're creating. So you can see we've got this nice animation on and that is looking super cool. So let's just zoom out here, Shift and Z to zoom out. So you can see in all these different infographics that we've added, we have that nice level of control of being able to add some cool graphics, um, but then also be able to match the style, the color of different projects that we might be working on. So being able to make sure we can get that branding right on point when we're matching those colors and adding graphics in Final Cut Pro 10. So I hope this is a useful overview of the Digital Product 669 Ultimate Graphics Pack. If you have any questions about this, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video and good luck with your edits in Final Cut Pro.